Hello Hunters, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge series. In this series we're doing a set of challenges, like a, a main challenge every episode, see how we can do in Hardcore. If we die, then the series ends, obviously. Also, if I fail the challenge any other way, I have to start over. So let's hope that don't happen either. But today's challenge... I got a comment from Scully saying he wants me to strip mine crawling 1,000 blocks. And if you uncrawl, you lose. Let's start right here. Uh, I'll have to do with the water bucket way. Uh, come on, let's just swim. Okay, there we go. And now, do that, and we're crawling. I could have done a trapdoor as well, but I don't have one. Our Z coordinates are currently minus 254. So it's got to be to... A thousand blocks away from that, whichever direction we're headed. I guess it'll be minus 1,254 is whenever we will have succeeded in the challenge. I'm just gonna do this, just to make sure we don't get interrupted. So yeah, once we're at minus 1,254 in the Z-axis, that's when we win. So let's get started then. Let's just start our strip mine. After this, I don't think I'm gonna end the episode right away. I might also want to kill a sheep to get a bed. I could also shear a sheep, or oh, I'll, I'll shear a sheep and then kill it. That seems like a good idea to me. You know, we'll get some materials while we're at it, of course. Why not? I gotta make sure I can get them without uncrawling, though, because if I uncrawl at any point, I immediately lose. So I can do this. If I do this, I'll be, still be crawling the whole time. Yeah, there we go. I still don't think I need copper anytime soon, so let's not worry about that. Hey, at least while we're, we're in a one block zone, I can't get creepered or anything. I'm trying to stay back so I don't accidentally uncrawl by going into a cave or something. Because if that happens, then, well, that's not going to be fun. And mobs can't spawn, but I still want to see, which is why I'm still placing torches. And our... <laughs> you can see me crawling in the thing. I guess that's the thumbnail. So, how far along are we now? We've gone quite a bit of ways. 50 blocks now, and I'm supposed to go a thousand. Oh my gosh. And we dug into a ravine. Oh boy. How am I gonna... Ah, there we go. I can do this. And I think this counts. I'm gonna say it is a mine... Oh! Mineshaft! I wonder if that is the same one, perhaps. That zombie sees me. They see you from far away in hard mode. My goodness. And that creeper sees me, too. They can't get me. But they sure do see me. Oh, look, the surface is up there, too. Just my luck to dig into a ravine during this. Let's keep this up. I'm trying to do the top one first, just in case, you know, doing the bottom one would make me uncrawl. I don't want that. Did I just see a phantom? I hope not. I know I haven't slept, so... Phantoms are a possibility. Well, that's just a zombie I'm seeing. Okay. If that was a phantom, that would be terrible. But it's not. It's a zombie. There's something over there. Nothing important, though. Just some iron and whatnot. That's part of why I need a bed, though, so I don't get phantoms, because phantoms could easily ruin my run. But yeah, considering the amount of work I had to put into crossing that ravine, I'm going to say that's still counted in the blocks I dig. Though, if you disagree, be sure to let me know, I guess. But yeah, I used the rest of my stone and wooden pickaxes, and I also crafted an iron pickaxe. I don't know if that'll be enough, though. If it isn't don't have wood on me, so I won't be able to craft one. That's not good. I did not think this through. And this must be the mine shaft again. I don't care. Let's just dig through it. Actually, if I were able to reach any wood, then I could grab it, but there's no wood over here. Yeah, no wood. And that's not even the mine shaft. That's just a cave. And I think we came up with some copper. So even though I wasn't planning on grabbing any, we got some anyway, because it was along the way. But I wonder how far along we are now. Probably not as far along as you'd expect, considering I spent a decent amount of time crossing a ravine. Minus 384. We're not even close. I'm not gonna make it. I did not think this through. Maybe I don't count the part where if I uncrawl I have to start over, I just have to go in a straight line. I don't know. Let's swap these so, so it's easier to swap between the coal and the torches. I mean, the torches and the pickaxe, whatever. Every time it gets dark. You know what? Let me just put them in my right in my left hand. I made the same mistake in my first Minecraft video. Yeah, let me just keep them in my left hand. That way I can easily place torches. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. And gravel, and I don't have a shovel, so just gotta do this. Actually, let me do this. There we go, do the little trick. Now I obviously want to place some cobble over it, so I don't uncrawl. 
wonder how far along we are now. Maybe we're in the 500s range by now? And another cave. It's also a ravine. Oh jeez, a glow squid. Hello. And yeah, I am on 458, so I'm not 500s quite yet. As long as there's no skeletons, nothing can get me at least. So let's do that, and boom, we're good. And now we're up to some dirt, okay. And no more dirt. That didn't last long. It sure is taking a while. We definitely could not see the end. Or where we started. I wonder if we'll ever dig outside. I doubt it. Considering we started from underground, but you never know. And we are beyond the 500s at this point. Or the negative 500s, I should say. And yeah, once again, I am definitely not going to make it. So I don't know why I didn't make more pickaxes. Even if they were just stone or whatever. I did not think this through. Again, maybe I won't consider if I uncrawl, I lose. So I could backtrack and make more pickaxes. I don't know. I'll definitely have to if I want to make that 1,000, of course. How about if there is a penalty for ever uncrawling? Instead of the penalty being that I have to start all over, the penalty is that I have to dig for longer. Like, every time I uncrawl, I have to go an extra... I don't know, 50 blocks? Which I haven't uncrawled yet, but I'm about to have to because my pickaxe is almost broken. It'll break any minute now. And... Now, it's broken. I have no choice but to go back. I'm not I'm about to sit here and punch stone for 10 hours or whatever. I'm going back. So, yeah, I'm gonna head back, make myself some more pickaxes, not just one, I'll make a lot. So I think I'm gonna cut away to do that. Yeah, I'll be right back. Before I continue, I want to get revenge against that sheep. I want to actually kill it. And, you know, I could make shears right now. There we go. Now I got shears. So I can shear the sheep and then kill it. Yeah, we are going to get revenge against it right now. Assuming it's still over there, which I hope it is. And I think I found a pillager already. Yep. But it's fine. We can take him. We can take him. Look at that. He didn't even hit me. Easy. Now this is when it becomes a problem. There's two of them. I can't deal with two at once. Or maybe I could, but I don't want to risk it. I would rather not risk it for the biscuit. Because biscuits are not worth it. Biscuits aren't even in Minecraft. Well, what comparison is that? Uh, no sheep in sight. That's unfortunate. That means the sheep despawned. But yeah, the sheep's not there. No revenge today. Alright, so back in the cave. This time we're prepared with all sorts of things. So let's get this started. Let's continue. Uh, let's see, we are on almost at negative 600 now. Still got a ways to go, because, you know, we gotta end up on minus 1,254 or something like that. <laughs> I figured I might want to grab some iron while I'm here though, and some coal as well, just to make sure that we don't run out, because I brought a crafting table and furnace with me as well. So if I have iron and coal, I could potentially make more pickaxes so I don't have to uncrawl again, which I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with, but whatever. We're gonna keep going along here till we reach the end. Hopefully there's no more interruptions. Hopefully there's no more ravines to cross either. Two is too, too many as it is. And more iron. Could always use more iron. Too bad there won't be diamonds behind it because we're too high. But how about we... I was gonna say how about we talk about some things, but I, don't, I honestly don't know what to talk about. Yeah, I'm a great commentator, I know. I'm just so used to scripted videos now because that's mostly what I make. I haven't really done playthrough videos in a while, so... But yeah, I feel like this is a good idea for a series. So far, the only new challenge idea was from Scully, of course, and it's the one we're doing now. So if anyone else has any ideas for challenges I can do for future episodes, assuming I don't die in this one, which I'm not really in any danger right now, but you never know. But yeah, if you got any, any ideas, be sure to let me know in the comments. Could always use more ideas to, get, to keep this series going. This is going to be our big new series of 2022. Episode 1 was at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I don't know when exactly this episode is going to come out, but I'm recording it on, like, January 7th. But who knows when it's actually going to come out. It's definitely not going to be on that day, that's for sure. Regardless of all that, if you have any ideas for future episodes, let me know. And we are on... We are in the 700s, approaching the 800s, and I didn't make any shovels, but I used up pretty much all my iron making pickaxes, so... I'll take more whenever I can get it. There we go. Oh no. Yeah, I accidentally stood up 
and then blocked up the water so I don't have the water anymore. I think I said that a penalty for standing up would be digging an extra 50 blocks, which would mean I have to dig 100 extra now. So our stopping point isn't actually minus 1,254, it's minus 1,354. It's still a better penalty than starting over entirely, but it's also still a pain. We are somewhat over a ravine, though, not as much as last time, so we can just pile straight across. That zombie sees me. How in the world would a zombie ever think to look up like that? Well, like, the further I go into recording, the less I have to say, so whenever I record for a long time, this starts to happen. That's one reason why I don't like super long recordings. The other being they take absolutely forever to edit. I actually ran out of coal making torches and whatnot, so that's why I'm trying to grab as much coal as possible as well. Just hope it's not a mistake. Hope I'm still able to make it to the end. But with all the iron I got, I will be able to make more pickaxes if I happen to run out, so not a big deal. We are almost on negative 900. Still got like 450 more blocks to go after that, but... Hey, we're over halfway there. After all this time, only just past the halfway point. Why did Scully have to give me the worst challenge? Hope I'm at least able to find a sheep to kill once I'm done with all this. That'll make me feel better. Also, some people, mainly Scully, have asked me if I ever considered wanting to live stream at some point as well. A big reason why I'm not so sure on that is the same reason why I'm not really big on recording for a long time, because I start running out of things to say for a while. And yeah, live stream is a different situation. If I have people in chat, I'll be talking to them. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I I'm just saying that a pre-recorded thing and a live stream are different. Again, this could just be a result of what I was saying earlier, like how I <laughs> ran out of things to say after recording for long enough. I guess we've gotten to that point. At least we got like 400 blocks left to go, oh gosh. What Y level am I on? 48? Yeah, definitely not gonna ever find diamonds up here. You know, I think I found a thing to talk about actually. How things have changed throughout my six, almost seven years on YouTube now, it, it's changed quite a lot. I started off YouTube doing this kind of stuff, Let's Plays, but it started off with a Pokemon Let's Play. And now I don't really do playthroughs as much anymore, because I gravitated more towards scripted stuff, I guess. But I started with the Let's Plays, so things have changed quite a bit. And also, a lot of people that are subscribed to me don't even like Pokemon, which is funny when you think about how that's what this channel started with. I started with Pokemon, and now a lot of my subscribers don't care for it. That's at least what I get from a community post that I made, and I don't know if the people that see my community posts and the people that see my videos, I don't know how often they overlap. I know there are some people who only see my community posts and nothing else because they choose not to watch the videos, which means they're not watching this video right now. So yeah, maybe that's just the community post people and the people that actually watch my videos do you care about Pokemon? I don't know. Let me know if you if you like Pokemon or not. Also, assuming I get this video out before Pokemon Legends Arceus releases, which it should be out before then, considering the date this was recorded, are you planning on getting and playing that game? I know I am. It's one of my most anticipated games of the year. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you're getting that or not. I'm just asking as many questions as possible for the comments. Like, do you like Pokemon? Are you getting Legends Arceus? Let me know what challenges to do. I mean, rumor has it comments are good for the algorithm, so I, I, I don't know if that's true. It probably is. I don't know exactly. I don't know how the algorithm works. But if it is, then your comments could help out the video to, reach, to get to more people. And now we continue digging this way. That's also a good way for me to know how many of you actually like Pokemon. I know many of the people in the community posts don't, but do you guys like Pokemon? And if you do, are you getting the upcoming game? Legends Arceus. Like I said, I definitely am. Oh, we got some deep slate. I think that's deep slate. Uh, yep, that's- oh, that's basalt. Wait, smooth basalt? I thought- I thought that was another thing. We must be near a ruined portal. Is that true? Or is basalt something that could spawn in- oh! Ooh! We found one of the amethyst geodes, didn't we? Yes, we found an amethyst geode. That, that's pretty cool. Ooh. I don't want to uncrawl, but that's pretty nice. I'm glad that we came across one of those, because these are pretty cool looking. I wonder what block we're on now, or, or what z-axis we're on. We're past the negative 1000. At least from what I've seen, reception on the game is like incredibly mixed. People are either very excited for the game, or don't care for it at all. 
there are people in the mid uh, in the middle on the fence as well but i mainly see either one of those two sides and i'm definitely on the more positive side i'm really looking forward to pokemon legends arceus i'm probably dating this video by saying that but i don't care i think all minecraft videos can be easily dated in a sense considering how often the game updates i mean i'm already not playing on the latest version as it is i'm playing on 1.17 still even though 1.18 has been out for a while I'm just too lazy to update the Optifine sometimes. Like, I think the newest version, 1.18.1 Optifine, is out by now. I'm just too lazy to update it. <laughs> so I'm still playing 1.17. It doesn't really make a difference for this episode in particular anyway. So, not a big deal. But yeah, again, about the Pokemon game. It just seems like a big change for the series. Like, a change that the series has needed for a while. A lot of the games... They have like the same formula. This game definitely does not. In fact, it's so different that some people even think that it's not a main series game. It is, but for people to even think that it isn't shows how different it is from the other games. Like obviously in previous games, whenever you go into a battle, it does like a transition into a battle arena or whatever. But in this game, it's you go into battle seamlessly, like no, no transition or whatever. So that's pretty cool. That's the first time that's ever been a thing in the series. And that also has me think that shinies will appear in the overworld once again, because it'll be weird for a Pokemon to not be shiny, but then the moment you enter battle, it just randomly turns shiny. I mean, there's no transition into battles that happen seamlessly, so that would just be very jarring if Pokemon didn't become shiny until a battle started. Now, I feel like there's definitely going to be overworld shinies in that game, and there's probably going to be a lot of people experiencing shinies running away from them, and then the pain settling in. I hope that doesn't happen to me. I only ever failed one shiny in my entire time playing Pokemon. It was a shiny Altaria in Pokemon Ultra Moon. It fainted from Parish Song, but I already had a shiny Altaria because certain shinies are really common in that game, Altaria being one of them. So my one shiny fail that I've ever experienced wasn't even that big of a deal because it was for a relatively common shiny that I already had. So yeah, not a big deal at all. That's the one shiny fail I've ever had. And yeah, it was not a problem. And we got some calcite here, and I'm about to use it. <laughs> there we go. And some smooth basalt. I thought basalt was only in the nether. I didn't know basalt could be in the overworld as well. That's weird. I thought we were near a nether portal at first because of that, but nope. We were near a uh, amethyst geode. There's just a, a lot of reasons, in my opinion, to be excited about the upcoming Pokemon game. Of course, if you don't like Pokemon, you you're probably not going to care about the upcoming game. I mean, if your main problem with Pokemon is that all the games are the same, then that's not really a reason to skip out on Legends Arceus because it's not the same, at least not entirely. Like, that's just what I think about the game. Let me know what you think as well, like I already said. If you want to, of course. You don't have to comment if you don't want to. But anyway, how far along are we now? Minus 1,200. So we have 154 blocks left to, left to go. Once we get that distance, we will be done and we can return to where we were. We are so far away from home right now. It is ridiculous. So I might consider going back on foot because it will be quicker. And we ended up in a cave, which I don't want to check out. But let's just keep going. Let's keep going. And ravine yet again. There's gold down there. It's pretty cool. If I happen to see diamonds, I would have to go down and get them. But I don't see any, so we're okay. Oh! I thought I placed the block. And if I had the water bucket, I could have saved myself, but I lost it. We were so close, and I had to fall in a ravine and... Duh. It's an epidemic. All three of my hardcore deaths were from fall damage. That's what I mean when I say it's an epidemic. For all we've done in this series, it ends like that on episode two. Well, consider that challenge failed. I don't really want to end a series on episode two. I know I said the series ends if I die, but I might continue anyway. If I get more challenges in the comments, this series will continue, but if I don't, it ends here. But that's definitely gonna be where the episode ends for now. I can't believe it ended like that. Of all ways, are you kidding me? I'll see you guys next time. Happy hunting.